made some curves instead of doing an add mesh and making cylinders and, and things. And then I have spheres that are going to um, navigate through curve instead. So a curve that's been converted to mesh. And I want to show you how to do that. But right now in all in two, this these two situations, there's rigid bodies with an object, a sphere that's either going through or down the slide. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so my setup is I have the sphere ready to go. Um, I'm going to add another object. This time, instead of a mesh, it's going to be a curve. Um, I like to use the, the path just to get it started. And I'm going to hit this Z so I'm looking top down and zoom in on it a little bit. I'm going to go to edit mode. So there's a better tutorial on making this path. Just changing a couple of these to make this curved kind of look. It's the black line that matters. The orange lines help me maybe create the shape, refine the shape. And then once I have it, I'm going to go back to object mode. So this has no mesh to it right now. It's just a curve. If I rendered it, it wouldn't show up. So to add um, something to it, I have to click on this tool right here. I'm going to look for this geometry panel, open it up. Um, I'm going to look for round and then I can add some mesh to it. So now it has something in it. Um, I'm going to leave the caps open. The caps are for the end so I can fill them and it, I don't need to fill them. The other thing I'm just going to point out is this one's like a half. This is a full tube. So where did I get to make this half that's up here. There's a full option. I can hit half and now that's a half the tube. I'm going to go back to full for this one. And then um, I can rescale it so it's a lot larger. Rotating it. I'm just kind of refining my position here needs to still be a little bit larger. I made it really big. And I want this to be at the mouth of this big tube. So wait, wait with me here just for a second while I adjust this. So I just want to check this from a couple of angles to see if, if this fell right now, would it fall inside this tube? All right, so this tube, the other thing I want to do with this tube that I made is it's just a curve right now. So I am going to right click on it and there's a convert to, I want to convert it to mesh. From that point on, I can go to rigid bodies. This tube is passive. I'm going to make sure it is on mesh and then the sphere is a rigid body that's active. It's also mesh. And if I hit play, if I put it in there correctly, it goes down the tube. So um, that is rigid bodies with using a curve instead of a mesh object.